is going on YouTube? Justin Dez here with the off season of season two of the Washington Nationals franchise on MLB The Show 23. But quickly before we go through the postseason and everything, we'll show the yearly awards. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., part of the big trade between him and Jazz Chisholm. Well, they paid off for the Marlins because uh, he won an MVP. 35 home runs, 113 RBIs, just an absolute monster. Juan Soto won it last year, the guy that we traded away. Uh, Mookie Betts and Pete Alonso round up the finalists. Cy Young, Corbin Burns absolutely killed it. Shohei Otani in his first year with the Pirates didn't do too bad. And Clayton Kershaw. Vladdy also wins the batting title. IKF, who we traded at the trade deadline, finished second. Reliever of the year, A.J. Mitten. So it seems like so far our division, we have an MVP in our division and reliever of the year. Rookie of the year is Kevin Soriano, the second overall pick from Coastal Carolina. He slowly climbed up draft boards, but he lived up to the hype. He made the all-star team. He only started because of me, but still all-star team, rookie of the year. Not a bad first year for the 21 year old. I expect big, big things from him in year two, and he is without a doubt the face of the franchise. Then Omar Pena, who we signed in the offseason, didn't do too bad. 22 home runs, 77 RBIs, just not as high of an average. And then Vladimir Samuels didn't do too bad as well. So, congrats to Kevin Soriano. Bryce Harper wins Hank Aaron, the Hank Aaron Award. Ronald Acuna Jr. and Vladdy. So, at, uh, again, three of our division opponents are were nominated for Hank Aaron. They got Vladdy. They got Acuna. They got Harper. We got Kevin Soriano. Sandy and Trevor Rogers from the Marlins are... Uh, we're up for a Golden Glove, but Sandy won it. And then JT won the Golden Glove as well. Christian Walker for first base. Brendan Rodgers for second base. Can Brian Hayes for third. Tommy Edmond for shortstop. Left field, Ian Hep. Harrison Bader for center field. Mookie Betts for right field. And Jock Peterson, slugger for the DH. Otani finished second. Menendez finished third. Will Smith, Vladdy again. Estrada, Austin Riley, Trey Turner, Mookie Betts, Juan Soto, and Acuna. Bryce Harper, Acuna. So we have the best division in baseball, clearly. And then ICAF is doing well in the postseason as well. And check it out for the American League. Uh, Aaron Judge won MVP, his third in a row. Shane Bieber cruises to a Cy Young. Jordan Alvarez won a batting title. Brian Abreu won Reliever of the Year. Lucius Blackwell won Rookie of the Year, the Tigers' first round pick. I believe he was their fourth overall pick. Either way, Robert Poisson and Marco Mea. Jordan wins a uh, Hank Aaron Award, some Golden Glove guys, Kirko, Miranda, Andreas, McMahon, Fletcher, Dalton, Byron Buxton, Margo, Tyler O'Neill, Perez, Lowell, Polanco, Jose Ramirez, Corey Seager, Aaron Judge, and Mike Trout, and Kyle Tucker. Do take a look at our division. The Mets won 83 games, same with the Phillies. The Braves won 105, the Brewers 194, Pirates 86, Cubs 85, Dodgers won 102, Giants 186, and Yankees 191, the Blue Jays 184, 99 for the Guardians, 96 for the Twins, 103 for the Astros, 90 for the Rangers, 96, 90, and 80 as well. The AL pennant is set. Houston versus the Guardians. Atlanta versus Milwaukee. Let's see what happens. But it is Houston and Milwaukee up 
for the World Series. And Houston wins for nothing. Kyle Tucker is your World Series MVP as well. Uh, yeah, very cool. So the Astros and the Braves have won the World Series in this series. And the Astros have won two out of the last three World Series overall. So we look at retired players. No one too crazy. Uh, Charlie Morton, he got hurt. Adam Wainwright retired. Alex Wells and Robbie Woodson, who did. No, I thought he got time, but. Uh, Corbin Byrne, Chris Sale. Anyone too crazy? Robinson Cano and Miguel Cabrera make the Hall of Fame. So we are looking at free agents here. We do have an available budget of $114 million, which is huge. So the first guy I'm going to go after is Jordan Hicks. He's 28. I think I'm going to maybe move it down to three years, 3.5. Uh, we definitely do, do need pitching as well. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards... Maybe Merle Kelly. Potentially. He is older. But I don't know. So I will get back to pitcher. But I offered Francisco Mejia for a one year $4.2 million to be the kind of platoon guy with Kerbert Juarez. Maybe to be the starter. But mostly to be the platoon guy. Second base, we don't need it because I will show you after we the first couple of waves of free agency I will show you why we don't need a first baseman but second base I don't think we desperately need one third base I think we do for now so I'm thinking maybe Jace Peterson he is a platoon guy he is 34 maybe we can get him on a solid 5.2 year deal or my guy Gio Urshela a little bit cheaper no or Evan Longoria the old man himself we can sign him and then short stops Tim Beckham to be a solid major league or triple A guy. Um, AJ Pollock, I think, could be a good platoon bat as well. Uh, maybe Ramiel Tapia or Jesse Winker as well. Or Jorge Soler, who I'm pretty sure was a former. World Series MVP, I believe. Anthony Santander, Will Myers, as well. Austin Meadows, we can sign him to a one year ish deal as well. Um. Or we can get Alex Verdugo, maybe. That's not a bad every day for $5.5 million. Yeah, why not? We'll go after him. Tyler O'Neill. How much would he want? Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Um, so here are the guys that we have offered so far and it's looking like so Jordan Hicks will probably sign for three years uh, Alex Verdugo 28 didn't you know he's a solid outfielder Jace Peterson Jace P yeah Peterson excuse me seems like a very good utility guy AJ Pollock could 
also be a very good utility guy. Austin Meadows as well. Uh, Francisco Mejia is a guy that is going to be our backup catcher. I, I do want to go after Matt Scherzer. Though he is 70, he could be, you know, a bullpen guy. But, you know, he, he's also just been around the majors forever. And I know there's not a thing as mentorship, but he can be a really good clubhouse guy for the young pitching staff that we have. And same thing, Tim Beckham is probably just going to be a lifetime major leaguer, all that, uh, or minor leaguer, excuse me. Then Evan Longoria is kind of just uh, probably a triple-A guy, a guy that – you know, we'll, we'll bring for the young guys and all that. So we're going to see how this goes. Juan Soto is staying in, well, he's coming back to the division, but he signed a six-year, $210 million deal to the Mets. Great. Corbin Burns signs a six-year, $210 million deal with the Astros, the defending World Series champs, as they need to get better. Fantastic. Do we sign anyone? Yep, I'm well aware. So we signed AJ Pollock and, you know, other guys like Mill, Damon, Hicks signed as well. This is huge. This is big for us. Matt Scherzer is returning to the Mets on a one-year deal. That's what you hate to see. Shane Bieber is now a Cardinal for six years, $202 million deal. And Marcus Sherman traded for Eli White. Ah, that's a terrible trade between them. That's The Dodgers absolutely fleeced them. Let's see the trade offer. Tommy Johnson, I'm going to say no to that. So we do get Alex Verdugo. We do get uh, Chase Peterson. We kind of get AJ Pollock as well. We get a buttload of guys that we've wanted. That's what I want to see. And now it's time for the big trade, the big splash of the offseason, I think. Sorry, I quickly forgot to say this. Joey Menendez, he's moved to third, or first base, excuse me, because his overall was declining. He's 32, his arm's not as good. So we said, you know what? We're going to have him move to first base, and now he's an 89 overall, 32 to preserve his career, and he's cheap as well, $1.5 million. That is awesome. So who is going to be our third baseman? Well, it's going to be either Jace Peterson or Omar Pena. Omar has a solid arm, okay fielding. I figure why not? He, he's got a better arm. Worst case is we can move him to first base again. But I want to try him out. And then Milt Benjamin, one of our top prospects. But we moved Drew Gilbert, who we got in the trade deadline, over to third base. Or, excuse me, third left field. Alex Verdugo will be our starting left fielder. James Wood and Elijah Green will be battling out in spring training for center field. And then A.J. Pollock, we literally got to platoon, help platoon with uh, Kevin Soriano. Austin Meadows could probably platoon for one of those guys. And Drew Gilbert is going to just be a platoon guy potentially for overall. But now it is time for the big trade of the offseason. So for those who did not watch the draft stream, you should. It's awesome. It's great. But we tried to go after Matt Lehman, who... Only played in 30 games, had 29 hits, 4 home runs, 16 RBIs. He did strike out 28 times. He wasn't the best, but he's their first round pick. He's just kind of sitting there. Well, now not behind George Springer, but we wanted to make a big splash for him. So, they're looking for a first baseman. Well, I got a first baseman for you, but we're not going to trade Menendez. Tyler Wade could be a part of it. 
third base, Omar Pena maybe, Jace Peterson. I want to actually, I like Tyler Wade. Abrams, his contract's going to be up. He hasn't really done anything super spectacular, and he's on a down year as well. And then I'm going to give them an outfielder as well. You're probably wondering who. Well, maybe James Wood. Yeah, maybe. Elijah Green. Mm, we're going to give him more of a shot. So we're going to do James Wood. The two key parts of the Juan Soto trade because James Wood's not really panning out, man. I know he's probably more of a defensive guy, but to me, he's not panning out. Abrams... He's not panning out as well, or he's not doing anything super spectacular. Uh, he did have a career high in home runs, and but you know, to me, you know, we got Faulkner, we got Eric Brown, we got Cannon. You know, I, I want to see what this kid can do. So we're making the big splash, and we're trading for. Matt. Here is the kicker. We are moving him to shortstop. Yeah, I messed around a little bit. I wanted to see what he could do. And yes, his contact goes up big. His power goes up big. His stealing for some reason goes down. But I think the 41 arm, we can work on the reaction, is great. And the feeling's pretty good. And he went up over two overall. So... Yes, we did give up C.J. Abrams, one of our top shortstops, to get this kid. But we're moving him from the outfield. He is still going to be able to play the outfield. So it's not completely like he's not going to be an outfielder. And we're moving him to shortstop. Worst case, third base. But he is our shortstop of the future now. I'm really, really, really excited for this kid. I mean... Just the speed and the stealing, the contact's great. The vision can be better, I think, but and the arm. But overall, he seems like he is a very, very, very worthy guy of trading. So I'm very, very excited that we got our guy. I think it's time to get an ace. I don't think Mackenzie Gore is an ace. So maybe Clayton Kershaw, but he's probably going to be a Dodger. Tyler Glisnall, maybe? He's won 13.5, absolutely not. Pablo Reyes, actually asking 14. What about Sonny Gray? 11 million. Eric Lau, 7.1. I can do that. I can do 7.1. What about Lance Lynn? I think we're going to go after Merle Kelly as well, but do a two-year deal for $4.4 million. And then also James Paxton for a year. For $5.2 million. So Clayton Kershaw signed a one-year $16.4 million deal to the Mets fantastic we're definitely gonna have to play the Mets now in this series because they got Juan Soto and Clayton Kershaw then Hernandez gets traded I don't know about that not a big fan of that trade uh, that's fine Mike Soroka goes to the Diamondbacks interesting we also do get Eric Lau Lauer couple of years 7.1 million dollars he is only 29 years old uh he is coming off not a great season but better than what we've had so far so then we can kind of let Mackenzie Gore develop as well but I am getting a little bit impatient with him he's not had a great start in Washington in his two years and you know not showing a lot of promise Zach Plezak was an absolute star deal for us last year I'm looking for him to continue that as well Dylan Lesko I'm hoping he can go B 
to you know get better as well. Andrew Hudson, I thought, even though his record says, I thought he showed a lot of promise. I'm excited for him. And then James Paxton just there for the rotation. And I think I'm gonna let Cade go down, let him work, because he has been absolutely been getting shelled at the major league level. Uh, and then Jay Gardner, who we traded for, I'm going to keep him down for another year. And same thing with Noah Schultz, Tink, and then uh, Billy James, who we drafted as well. And Blake Tidwell, who was part of the uh, Steven Strasburg trade. I think we're going to let him rock for a little bit. We did bulk up our bullpen with Jordan Hicks, and then we also have Clark Schmidt, who's on a three home on a four million dollar deal as well. Aaron Ashby and Lauren Hernandez really, really didn't do too bad last year. And then Danny Turner as well. Those guys went through some growing pains. I think they have a very promising future in the bullpen. And then Jose, we're gonna have him potentially, maybe not be our full time closer, but yeah, Francisco Mejia as well um i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm kind of curious what menendez is going to do with first how he's gonna do miles dwyer he killed it until he fractured his forearm i think you're gonna see a potential star maybe not a star but a really really good player for him and tyler wade's a great utility guy Omar Pena, NL Rookie of the Year runner-up. I want to see what he can do at his new position. Um, you know, maybe the encore. And then I want to see if Brady White or Tyler Whittaker can take that next step to being the guy. Because Brady House has not looked good. And Tyler Whittaker's been okay, a little bit better, just with limited amount. And he could be the Tyler Wade replacement. Now, Eric... Brown Jr., we kind of saw what we saw. He's slowly grown on us. Um, our second overall pick, he's staying in AAA, maybe AA. Damon Cannon, our second round pick. One of these two guys is going to be the head headliners for AA. And I think, you know, Lavaro's probably going to be our other utility guy up at shortstop, but I'm really excited for Matt Lehman, man. He seems like an absolute dog man at shortstop i'm excited for him and then alex verdugo who just brings some really really good bats i mean durable he's got an arm he's got great vision pretty great contact as well and then drew gilbert's just going to be the utility guy really showed some promise and then we're going to let mill benjamin cook in triple a the 19 year old uh we're going to let him cook and Elijah Green, that's all him, baby. He's the center fielder now. First round pick as well. And then AJ Pollock's going to be there. And then Kevin Soriano, the face of the franchise as well. We're going to see what this guy can do. All right, to end the episode, we are going to show the spring training roster. I will probably stream this as well uh, on the channel. But I also do have a Twitch. The description is down in the link. But Eric Lau, Mackenzie Gore, Zach Plezak, Dylan Lasko, Andrew Hudson, James Paxton, Cade, Jay Gardner, Noah Schultz, and Tink as well. And then Blake Tidwell in terms of starting pitching. Clark, Hicks, Ashby, Hernandez, Turner. I think I'm going to try book to the we're gonna call him up see what he can do because i think actually we're gonna let him stay so then joey for closer then kybert francisco mejia and edgar for catchers joey menendez michael chavez miles dwyer tyler wade omar pena brady house tyler wink eric brown jr i think we kind of know what LeVar, LeVar can do, but I'm going to try Damien Cannon, Eric Brown Jr., Matt Lehman, Alex Verdugo, Dan Gilbert, Milt Benjamin, Sean Drew, Elijah Green, Austin Meadows. Actually, we're going to keep Sean Drew down in AAA, and we're going to call up 
Jared Booker. Before we end this episode, I will show you some of the contract renewals slash arbitration eligibility. I think Mackenzie Gore needs to prove something this year. I'm not resigning him. He has not had a great start to his career. An ERA over 5, 17-32 as a starter, 74 games started as one, and just... I, I, I don't know. I'm not super confident with him, but maybe being the number two, number three guy will help his stats. Uh, but who knows? Francisco Mejia, I want to see what he can do as a utility guy. James Paxton, he's just here on a one-year deal. Uh, Cade, I want to see what he can do because he's been shelled. Michael Chavez... Maybe Austin Meadows, but Brady House, the former number first round draft pick, he has not looked great in his young major league career. To be fair, we gave him a little bit more of time and he actually did something, but I want to hold off on his contract for now until whenever contract renewals are in the summer. But that will absolutely do it. And we'll show the transactions, the completed. We re-signed Elijah Green to a two-year deal. Whittaker, Omar, Tyler, Kybert, Lauren, and Matt Lehman as well, which is huge. And Kybert's going to get a little bit paid as well, as we're going to show it before we leave. So he's going to get a little bit of an increase to $8.7 million. He's been very, very solid for us, including an all-star in 2023. Hopefully he can keep going on the rise. If not, I'm not uh, afraid to trade him. But that is going to do it for the off-season episode. Let me know what you think about that trade with Vlad Lehman. Maybe some of you guys are upset about C.J. Abrams or James Wood going. But overall, I'm very, very excited for this new look team. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss anything. But until the next episode, you guys have a good one. Peace.